afternoon. Rich Tyson here. Hey, uh, today I'd like to talk just for a few minutes about entrepreneuring. Uh, I deal with entrepreneurs all the time, and uh, they're some of the greatest people in the world. I love people who have an energy to start something new. Uh, they're some of the most creative and wonderful folks that I ever deal with, and I'm so pleased to have that opportunity on a regular basis. Like most things, however, uh, where you come to it with a great deal of strength in one respect, there are some things that entrepreneurs have some blind spots on. They tend to be supremely confident that whatever they're going to do is the right thing, and they just can't wait to jump into action. And I love that bias for action. I think there's real value in it, but at the same time, there's some real danger in it. As we work through our process of getting something great off the ground, it's important that we recognize that while being decisive and jumping right in is important, being deliberate is important too. Now, what does deliberate mean? Uh, I've had other videos I've done where I've talked about deliberate versus decisive, but if you're an entrepreneur, let me suggest to you that uh, some of the things that deliberation ought to include. First of all, as you think about what you ought to do, I want to refer you a little bit to my whiteboard here. And the first question I want to have you ask and answer is why do we want to do this? What's the vision that's driving our desire to do it? And maybe even some deeper questions. Why do you personally feel compelled to do this? What is your passion? What do you feel inclined to do where you're going to have the kind of day-to-day -day persistence to grind through even when things are tough because you have those core values, that deep desire to do something, that passion for making something happen. So you need to understand your why. A uh, great author, Simon Sinek, wrote a book called Start With Why, and he does concentric circles where he puts why in the middle, and then he says, hey, we need to go from that centerpiece out to what we do from there. So we start with why. Uh, and again, make sure that you think about your own personality, don't, the things that drive you, the things that you love to do, and let that be part and parcel to it. If, if you love the outdoors, and you've decided to do something that is totally indoors by nature, you may find that over a, a reasonable period of time you don't like what you're doing. Or if uh, you've got something that's constantly outdoors to flip it on its head, and you're more of an indoors person, uh, there's going to be some disconnect there. I, I have a, a friend who is really looking at doing something in the, the field of restaurants, and uh, he loves to cook, he loves all of the, the aspects of that, but at the same time, he is an extraordinary outdoorsman. Everything he's done in terms of his education and experience has been outdoors. He, he just craves to be in the outdoors constantly. And so one of my questions for him is, will this reconcile well? Is your why really where it needs to be? When we've figured that out, though, when we feel like we have got a, a good handle on it, and, and by the way, I should say this is important for you to do personally, but then if you're going to have a partner or someone that's working with you, make sure that that why reconciles for both of you. But then you've got to get down to what? Now, in the case of my friend, it's, hey, I want to start a restaurant. Okay, let's be more specific. What is that about? Uh, another fellow that my business partner has dealt with, he was approached by a guy that wanted to start a restaurant built around a special taco. Well, uh, hey, I love tacos. Uh, but the question that my partner asked him is he said, okay, the what is you're going to make a taco restaurant. So tell me, uh, define that menu for me of what will be part of doing this taco restaurant. And he said, I got kind of a blank stare. And he said, well, tacos. And, and the fellow uh, kind of chuckled a little bit uh, and said, you really want more than that? My tacos are so special, they're great. And my partner said, I hate to rain on your parade, but that's going to have to be an extraordinarily special taco to be the only thing on the menu. Uh, the what isn't very well defined. Now, again, this fellow has a passion for, for his tacos, but the what begins to have to emerge, and I will talk more about that in a subsequent video. That what really has to expand. It has to include how we're going to make money, how we serve customers, the operation that flows out of it. All kinds of other things have to be developed. Now, that goes to the how. What is the operational model that will make it happen? How do we make money?
Okay, so we're going from why to what to how. But then most critically, and I'll even circle that one, most critically is who. Are you the right person? Again, does it resonate with you? And what kind of people do you need to work with? What kind of suppliers are you going to need? Uh, what kind of uh, support do you need in terms of accounting and uh, human resources? All of those things. And you may say, well, I'm just a small business. All I want to do is be my, my own uh, proprietor. Maybe I have my wife work with me or something. Okay, let's define that who very carefully because the reality, you still are going to have taxes to pay. You're going to have to run accounting and so forth. The who has to be well defined. Now, this probably, at this stage, you're already thinking, hey, I'd love to do the why. Why are you making it so hard on me to go through all of these steps? Well, the reality is if you don't, these are the kinds of things that cause businesses to fail. The, the reality, folks, is that about one out of every five businesses lasts for even a couple of years. About an 80% failure rate. Now, in baseball, that's not bad. If you bat 200, you can probably stay around and play the game. But in business, that's lousy odds. So we want to get to that. Finally, the where over here is, okay, if you're a restaurant, is it a local thing you're doing here? If, if you're uh, like me in the consulting business, does that only cover a certain geographic area? Or are we looking at expanding that to go globally? And, and where implies a lot about your customers and who you're going to. So these fundamental questions, part of my career was in the newspaper world, we would ask these questions writing a good article. Why, what, how, who, and where? You need to do that. Now that's as much as I want to tell you today, but as we continue to do the videos and to support you, I will get deeper into what all of this entails. And I, I need to explain in closing today that this is all about the planning process for you to launch a great venture that will succeed, that raises those odds from 20% to 40, 60, 80, 100% because you've been deliberate enough to go through everything that needs to be done so that you will achieve your goals. Hey, thank you so much today. If you haven't subscribed yet to CEO Builder channel, uh, we hope you will. If you have some comments for me, uh, if you have questions about this, please uh, go to the comments section and, and do that for us. And again, thank you so much for your time.